What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. Let me welcome you all to my brand new home theater. So guys, welcome to the home theater. And let me just start off by saying this is not a complete home theater. Uh, there are still a lot of things that I need to do in here. I mean, just to give you guys an idea, some of our sockets don't even have the little plates on them. So this is a real work in progress. The house is still very, very fresh. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that we still gotta add. And I know you guys are gonna go crazy when you see certain things. So don't be too harsh. But first off, we gotta talk about the most important part of this home theater, the piece that kinda puts it all together, and that's this LG HU80KA, AKA the LG Cinebeam. This is an amazing 4K projector, and LG was cool enough to not only sponsor today's video, but send one of these out for the home theater, so huge shout out to you guys. Uh, but this thing is awesome because not only does it have like this really interesting design where it's just kind of standing here, but it can also be set in different positions as well. So you guys see the standing position here. You can also lay it down. Uh, you can also ceiling mount it. And there's just lots of different ways that you can actually take advantage of this. And what's really cool is that it's got this like retractable cable. So if you want to take this somewhere with you, it's portable and the quality is awesome. You can watch things in 4K. It even has HDR 10 support. So if you want to have that full 4K HDR experience, you can have that as well. Uh, I've been using it for a lot of watching my shows. You guys know me, I love me some anime. Having a 120 inch screen to watch anime on, I'm telling you guys. It's a good time. Now, I think one of my favorite things about this LG projector is the fact that it has the web OS built right into it. So with this, I can still access Hulu, Netflix, all those smart features that you expect from a smart TV. They're right in the projector, so I don't have to worry about plugging anything crazy into it right now. And that's kind of nice because when I just had the projector alone and nothing else in this room, I would just throw up something on the straight up wall and be able to watch content. So that was actually kind of nice. Uh, but now that I've got the screen, I've got the projector, I'm pretty much good to go. And something that you'll notice guys is that the image is actually being bounced off of this mirror so that you can position the lid wherever you want your image to be. So as you can see right now, our image is on the screen. But if I come over here and I just completely lift it up, our image is going to now shift to right above us. So now we've got it on our ceiling and you can kind of just do all kinds of motions and movements. You can even tuck this thing away in the back here. So if you want to have it like this, you can do that. So take a look at that. Complete control. And the benefit of something like this is if you have limited space, you can have a shorter throw or you can even go ahead and position it on something like the armrest of your couch and still have it go to your screen. And speaking of screens, uh, this is the 120 inch Elite Screens Edge Free Screen, I guess. So this is the Edge Free Screen. Uh, huge, huge shout out to my boy Majestex. Uh, I stumbled across his channel when I was doing research for home theater tech and equipment and the dude puts out some really good content, lots of great information. So if you're looking to get some info on how to set up your own home theater, things you need to consider, you gotta check him out. I'll have him linked down below in the description. But I like the screen because it's got like a really, really small border around it. Uh, some of the ones that I was considering had like really huge bezels and we don't like that on our TVs. No reason to have that on our projectors. And honestly, this wasn't that expensive for what it is. Uh, so I was really happy to pick this up. And with the LG Cinebeam, it's been a dream to watch. Now around it, I've got these LED light strips and I'm gonna tattle on myself and point out that I've got this little cable hanging out right here. So this is one of those things that I'm going to do a little bit later. I'm going to clean this up, probably get a hole drilled somewhere and kind of have this thing tucked away. It's a bit of an eyesore, but it doesn't stop me from watching content, so I'm not super mad. So the lighting gives it a really nice, cool effect. Uh, these light strips aren't very expensive. Uh, we needed something that was really long to cover the entire thing. Philips Hue strips just weren't going to cut it. I tried. But yeah, this is cool. You can change it to all the kind of colors you want. This kind of matches some of the other lights that we have in here, so I've got it on this blue. But now let's talk about audio. And I know 
some of you home theater freaks out there are going to shame me for using a sound bar but this is what I've got here right now. I actually plan to use this somewhere else, but I was excited to get this uh, setup completed. So right here we have the LG soundbar. Uh, this is the SK10Y. Now this is a Dolby Atmos soundbar. So of course you're getting that whole Dolby Atmos surround sound effect. Uh, it has the regular speakers up front as well as the top firing speakers. So if you have sounds like a flying helicopter uh, going above your head, it's going to bounce the sound off the ceiling over to you. So you kind of get that whole 3D immersive sound experience. So that's what we've got over here. And we also have a couple of speakers set up behind our couches. So try to get the whole surround sound until I get a full dedicated system. Uh, but what I like about this soundbar is that it plays very nicely with the LG projector over there. So syncing it up was not an issue. I was able to actually do it wirelessly. I just go into the LG settings. Uh, they're both LG, so they just happen to sync up. And we've got some little speaker stands over here as well. Uh, we've got these just to give it a better surround sound effect. So I've got one right here and I've got one right here on the sides of these chairs. So that way, you know, you get the whole experience. Uh, and it's been nice so far. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, this would probably be fine for any regular person who just wants to get better sound quality out of their projector. I know you gotta have a crazy 7.2.4 setup in order to really go crazy, but this is what we got for right now. But like I said, not only do I have the projector here, but I've got Xbox One X as well as a PlayStation 4 Pro. Just a little shout out to the uh, I'm like messing up my system here. Uh, my uh, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 4. This is a dope custom painted job from Colorware. Uh, they made it look like the PS2. So this is really, really awesome. But uh, it's kind of nice to have both systems on a 120 inch display. Not bad. All right, so we talked a little bit about some of the tech, the projector, the games, the sound, the screen, but we gotta talk about the seats, baby. So what we've got right here, is a three-piece set from Seacraft. Uh, these are some really nice recliners. They're powered recliners. Uh, they've got some pretty cool features too. Of course, you can do the whole typical reclining thing. So you can kind of sit back, relax, and watch your content with no problem, you know, just chilling. But you can also plug in something right here on the side with the built-in USB port. And not only that, but check this out, guys. We got LED lights right here at the bottom. Even the cup holders are LED lit. And something that I kind of like with these chairs, not only are they comfortable, they recline, you can actually adjust the headrest as well, which is really, really nice. But on the sides, they come with these little trays so that you can pop them right in if you're eating something, you know, while you're watching your movie, dinner and a movie, you can get that all set up. You can have some popcorn. Speaking of popcorn, we're gonna talk about that a bit more in a second. Uh, but yeah, these are awesome chairs. Now something that I'm really, really in love with are these guys right here. Now these are also from Seacraft, I believe. And um, these are game changers. So when you wanna relax, you wanna get really close to the, to the big screen, Oh yeah, you just sit back and relax right here. This is nice. It can, it can seat two people. So, you know, if Ari wants to chill with me while we watch something, we can definitely do that. Uh, but no, these are really comfortable. They've got like a nice velvet feel to them. They're solid. So we talked about the tech, we talked about the seating. Now, you know, we got to talk about the snacks. Come check this out, guys. So over here, we've got our little snacking situation. Remember that popcorn I was talking about? We got our own popcorn machine right here. So, you know, we got little sets of popcorn here. You got your butter, your oil. You got the machine to make it all come together. This is really cool. I don't know how much I'm gonna use this because I don't know if I wanna clean it, but if Ari wants to hook it up and make some popcorn for herself, I'm not even a huge popcorn guy, but Ari is. So if she wants to use it, she can go ahead and go crazy with it. Uh, but what I am really, really excited about is the snackage. I love me some sweets. You guys know that. I always keep sweets on deck. And here we have a ton to choose from. 
I'm just charging everybody $3 if they come down here and they ask to get some snacks, $3, just like the movies. And for those of you who might be looking for a way to do something like this, uh, what we've actually got right here is a kitchen cabinet. So this is meant to go up on a wall, but we'll, all we did was put some furniture glides on the bottom of this, just so that it can sit up right. And we actually added some LED lights at the bottom of each shelf so that each of the snacks can be illuminated even though the doors are closed. You can still see what snacks you can get during the movie. And if you know, you don't want candy, you know, we can go over here. We got chips, we got Doritos, Cheetos, Fritos, Lay's. We also got uh, some chocolate bars, Twix, Kit Kats, Hershey's, Snickers, the best. We got some Pocky if you want. And then over here, we have our Danby fridge. Now you know you gotta get some drinks for all the superstars, the friends, the champion, the superstars again, the leader. We got a bunch of drinks here, soda galore. We do have water too, but that's like upstairs, so. You gotta have to work for that one. <laughs> but we got lots to drink. Um, but that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this home theater so far. Trust me, it is a work in progress. I still need acoustic paneling. I need a more dedicated home theater sound system. Uh, so the sound bar probably won't stick around in this setup. So you there's gonna be a lot of changes happening here, but I would love your opinions. And you guys let me know what you think of the LG Cinebeam. I personally love the form factor of this guy. It's got a lot of functionality. You can grab it, take it places, project to different kind of walls. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, but that about wraps up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing a quick tour in where we are with the current home theater setup. But till the next video, guys, it's your average consumer. Peace.